What's up guys, Zach Conner here. And today's video is gonna be meal prep mainly for students. So whether you don't have to be a student, but whether you're a student in high school or university, even like tradies, either way, it's gonna be like cheap, easy, meals that taste amazing, and, um, and we're gonna smash it out. So first we have to get some food because we have nothing here. So Hafey, ready to go to the shops? Yep. Let's do it. So shopping is secured. Now, like I was saying, this is mainly a, like I want to make it a, kind of like a student meal prep because a lot of you guys think like that you want cold food options as well as like hot ones. So um, whatever you do, try find obviously the cheapest ingredients that you can. We were in a bit of a speed shop today, so we had to get it all. As you guys could tell, it was over in five seconds. Um, sound familiar, Hafey? Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna go home now and prep all of this, and we have a, another surprise coming for you guys midway through the video, so um, definitely stay tuned for that. But um, let's get home and, and get to work. So guys, we're starting with the fat loss meals. Um, what we're gonna do is two meals. This is gonna be like a low, a really low carb burrito bowl. So I'm gonna show you the, like the lowest like carb version of it and you can add rice or beans or whatever you want but I'm just gonna show you the extent um, and then we've also got a chicken salad I just realized I haven't like never done a salad for you guys and I'm a big fan so we're gonna do a chicken salad there um, with a sick dressing that is extremely locale one of my favorites and um, and a snack as well which we've got these bad boys that Chobani fit so um, we're gonna get stuck into this and then I'll show you guys the muscle gain meals so what we're gonna do is prep this I'm just gonna cook the chicken first I think where's my glove so we'll get the chicken in the oven I'm um, just baking it and and then we'll get to work on chopping all the, the salad stuff up. Because this is a burrito bowl, we can dice it all up together and kind of mix it in. So let's uh, let's get this going. So chicken, the oven is on at 205 Celsius. So we're just gonna put the chicken in first. We'll go about four tenders. So if you guys wanna make this on even more of a budget, just go chicken breast and just slice it up. Uh, but like I said, because this is just easy, so I'm just doing it like this. Um, now to dr dress it, season it. You guessed it, a little bit of salt. Is that a bit of salt? A bit more salt? A bit. a little bit. Then a few um, of Colonel's secret herbs and spices. Garlic. And onion. and cumin, a bit of that, a bit of cumin in there. And tenders in the oven should take around 12 minutes. So that should be perfect timing. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. <laughs> I, just, I just set up like four series. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna start prepping these, this salad. All right, so dressing, we're using Chobani, no fat yogurt. Little bit. See how that goes, it should be. Apple cider vinegar. Splash. You could use honey, but calories. So, sugar-free maple. Do you know why sugar-free, Hafey? Because there's no sugar. Sugar's for pussies, man. <laughs> um, and back again with the secret, cumin. Um, let's go, yeah, we'll go, that's like, that's gonna give it a sick flavor. Seriously, just a little bit. And lemon juice. Give it a mix. Spill it everywhere. We're gonna add, need a little bit more of these. And then maybe a little bit of water, just so it's a bit runnier. Dressing is good to go. I'll start dicing up. Now this is something that you can take to school, work, whatever, with your coal. Um, I did it for a long time, and it made dieting very easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chop everything up and put it in here, because then it's gonna be a lot easier to like mix it all together because you don't have to have a toss with your salad like an absolute loner. You can just toss it off in the bucket. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's edible plastic, do you know that? <laughs> That's not really. 
<laughs> I should have just committed an eight in that. <laughs> Trying to slice your fingers off. Leafy mix. Now, if this was me, like trying to fill myself up, I'd probably have nearly the entire packet because just <laughs> volume. But um, I don't want to be too much of a pig here, so we'll leave it at that. A couple of tomatoes. I swear, you know when you go to like Italian restaurants and they, like a, you get a pizza and then they yeah. give you a salad? Yeah. It's like they get a whole tomato and just do this with it. <laughs> they just chop an entire tomato in half and go, there you go, get that in your mouth. But these are cherry tomatoes, so we're, we're able to do that. And I like capsicum in my salads because maybe just something weirdo. And we're gonna need to use this anyway later. Nailed it. Do you like onion in salads? No. Really? See, I don't mind it, but a lot of people get weird about it. Maybe if we had avocado, you could put avocado in it, but this is like pretty simple. I would usually just add onion and that's about it to that. Chicken timer, five minutes left. Okay, so we may as well start dressing this bad boy. I'll put it all in, stuff it. Easy way to mix this bad boy up. And this would be the actual container that I took to uni with me when I was taking salads. It was literally this thing, this entire thing. It was great. Perfect. Now, while the chicken's cooking, let's get the other stuff sorted. Okay, so burrito bowl is next. Now, usually with burrito bowls, you obviously have rice, but because I'm showing you the really low carb, this is for like the guys who are just dieting and they're struggling and they want something filling. We're gonna make cauliflower rice. So you can buy this, but I mean, if you have a blender and you have access to cauliflower, you can just make it. You don't want to make a cauliflower mash, so that'll 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 be right. That's kind of pretty crunchy. So if you blend it like crazy, you will just you'll just make a paste, and that's that's not on. A little bit. Enough, and I'm just gonna microwave this just to cook it. That should only take about two, three minutes. So we've got cos lettuce, or I think this is called romaine lettuce in the states. Romaine Lansford lettuce. Now this deserves a wash because it's absolutely filthy. And because um, I told you I eat, like I need a lot of volume when I'm dieting, I usually just pack my burrito bowls full of lettuce. Then we'll go some more, some more tomatoes here. We'll get, we haven't used any oil today. That's we got, we're running low. <laughs> Prices of oil are expensive, but we'll get we'll get some going. So these are like the fresh ingredients that we're going to mix through. Then we're going to have some reduced fat cheese. So I got the home brand version because cheap, and you don't need a lot. That should be enough just to make you feel like you're not dieting. Good, good, good. Now all we have to do is cook this beef mince and then combine it with the rice, combine all this together, add some sauce. So we're gonna get an actual bowl because we're not savages. Ah! Absolutely perfectly cooked. That is some juicy chicken right there. So right now this meal is basically just protein. So you can add oil if you want, you can add avocado for fats. Um, or really anything you want, but this is like a very, very lean meal alternative. So the macros on this are absolutely phenomenal. Okay, we shouldn't need oil. This is extra lean beef mince, but we should be okay. Use about half a packet, so it should work out to be around 200 grams cooked weight. Yeah, if that's as dry as a camel, we're gonna need to put uh, some more oil in, but we'll see. Sick. 
Cauliflower rice cooked. Now I'm gonna try not to use oil here because I wanna show you how lean we can make it. Because if you add olive oil to any meal, it can just boost the calories up like crazy. Okay, that's sweet. So this is cooking now. And while that's gone, we'll add in the collie. A bit more of this. It's basically cooked. Nearly there. Turn this down, let that just chill for a bit. Yeah, mad. Beef is cooked. Let's get this on there. Beef goes on. Obviously we've got, we got the salsa. So instead of using sour cream, you can if you want, but this is like what I've done in the past and it just, it kind of has a similar effect. It doesn't taste as good obviously because it just tastes like kind of like nothing, but still gives it a nice bit of, bit of creaminess. Done. So these are our two main meals. This, you could have this for lunch, dinner, whatever you like. Uh, you could eat this cold even as well. That's what I've done before. You can literally make anything into a bowl, just add lettuce, it's the best. Um, and these are insanely low in calories. So also for a snack, so if you guys, say you're still at school and you actually just want a recess, usually I would have a meal, but if you wanna add more snacks, we've got Chobani Fit. These are brand new. These are like no added sugars compared to the usual flips. Um, and they are absolutely insane. Favorite flavor, banana or vanilla. It is ridiculous. 150 calories, super low. There's no added sugars in them. I literally had a fridge full and <laughs> this is all that remains. Have a look at this. Disregard the giant tub. This was <laughs> stocked up about three days ago and uh, everybody's got stuck into it. But that's a great option as well. I'll leave one out. We'll go with the mint. So that's a snack for fat loss, lunch for fat loss, dinner for fat loss. Sorted. Um, yeah, that's, I reckon that's amazing. So uh, guys, before we get into the Muscle Gain meals, I've got a little surprise for you. Hafey is gonna prepare me a meal of my choice. He just doesn't know what it is yet. You ready, Hafey? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so Hafey, you're gonna prepare for me a meal using only these ingredients. We have one, a croissant, tomatoes, eggs, turkey breast, a monster. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, yes, yes chef. Do something, you donkey! You call that cracking an egg? F*** off! You wanna get any more shell in that? Go on, crack it! Oh, piss off! Go on then. You call that whiskey? Put your f***ing back into it! Quickly! Go on, what are you gonna do with that? I'm just, uh, shredding it. Shredding it? Yep. Good f***ing luck! Keep shredding it for the next 10 years! What? Sorry, chef. My fucking god. And you call yourself a chef? Yes, chef. You fucking idiot. You Sorry, chef. Get your tomatoes and fuck off. I've never seen cooking as bad as this in my whole entire life. You better pull something seriously good out of your fucking ass right now. I'm gonna kick you in the head. Let me break this down for you, you fucking idiot. Pan, go on, put your hand on. Put your hand on. Fucking burn the Go on, surprise me. Let's see what you can do here. Go on. Are you making a fucking painting? What are you making, Hafey? What are you fucking making? Omelet, chef. You are not making a fucking omelet. That is not an omelet, it's an asshole, Hafey. You're making a fucking fool of yourself. You call yourself a chef? Yes, chef. Well, make a fucking omelet like a fucking chef. Putting the oil on after the eggs. What in the fuck? You're just doing it. Sorry. I'm fucking believable. Is there even any heat in that pan? What are you? An idiot, an idiot sandwich. Yeah. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Yeah. An idiot fucking sandwich. That could be an omelet. Does it look good, chef? That looks like a fucking hole. Monster in an omelet. Chef, they say that it looks, it's gonna taste good. Do you want a plate? Yes, yeah, chef. Then fucking get one! <laughs> Don't forget about the croissant. Very important question. She put the eggs in the question. Yes, yes, chef. What, what exactly is this? Is that a sandwich? Yes. It's an only an uh, egg sandwich. Is that your final product? Yes, chef. How does this it look? looks fucking horrendous. You call this food? It's not done yet. That's all you've got. That's all you've got. I'm fucking done with you. Gonna give this a taste. A fucking dog food.
That is the best thing I've ever put in my mouth in my entire life. 10 out of 10. F***ing love it. You're a f***ing, you're a legend. You're a genius. Come here, come here. <laughs> so, now for the muscle gain meals. Now, we're using chicken thighs because A, they taste better, B, more calories. So the whole premise behind these meals is calorie dense, so that's why they're gonna be pretty high in fat and carbs too. Um, and yeah, we're gonna basically have the whole thing with rice in both of our meals. We've got chicken, we've got salmon. Um, and we're doing this butter chicken style. Now, there's obviously better, oh, that looks so disgusting. Whatever you do, don't look at a chicken thigh when you unwrap it. Okay, so we're doing butter chicken in the tray. Now, this is literally for convenience because for me, you could put it in a pot and make a whole thing and stir it up and stand there for six hours. But um, I really, when I was at school, this is what I would do. I would literally put the entire thing in the tray and, it, and that would be fine with me. It tastes the exact same. And we, you just need to have uh, the chicken and a simmer sauce as well, which uh, I've got somewhere. Now, we need our Simmer sauce. So literally, you can just throw this on top and then that'll be good to go. So this is gonna make the sauce and we're gonna serve this with rice as well. So just give it a little weird massage. <laughs> and this should cook for around, I'd say 15 minutes. Good thing about thighs is they're so fatty that you don't need to worry about like them being dry. Unless you absolutely butcher it and cook it for 10 hours, they're not gonna be dry. They're gonna be good. So we'll throw that in. Set a timer for 12 minutes. This guy. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. Set a timer for 12 minutes. And now we were cooking the salmon. <laughs> I tried to do the rest of it in the Siri robot voice. For the salmon, you will need one salmon portion. Put your salmon on the tray. Error, no seasoning, no glove. <laughs> Teriyaki sauce. <laughs> this is robot me, just <laughs> glitch, glitch, there we go. So that teriyaki sauce tastes great. And salmon, I like to undercook it a little bit, um, because if it's fresh, you can do that. But we're gonna cook it for around, around 10 minutes. So that should be perfect timing with that. Let's stick it in. If you guys at home, I strongly suggest you use a rice cooker when you're cooking your rice. If you don't have one, get one, because it'll save you so much money, like this bad boy. But it just took too long for me today, so we're gonna use some packet rice. Which I'm against, because usually I'd use sushi rice, it just is so much nicer, but we're, we've got time constraints here, guys. Can't wait for rice to cook all day. Now, some greens for the butter chicken meal. It's obligatory as well, like in, with snow peas, you have to give one to bear. Which, actually, wait, let's, let's see if she gets angry. She usually gets angry if I'm peeling these. You're gonna have to ask for it if you want one. I don't give this out for free, but you want it? Go on, now take it away. Take it away. So any greens are fine, but snow peas, I'm just obsessed with at the moment. Easiest thing about these, microwave them whole, whole, just as it is, for about two minutes, one to two minutes. So let's get the salmon rice ready. So as you guys know, if you've seen my videos before, I like egg rice when I'm cooking like Japanese style. So that's what we're doing. Egg in hot rice. You have to crack it with one end too, it's essential. And either soy or if you've got like a teriyaki, easy. Throw that in there as well. And if it's too raw, like I personally just like to eat it like this, um, but Hafey cracks it because he says it's too raw and some people freak out. So you can put it back in the microwave for a little bit. So we can do that. Rice is cooked, <clears throat> that's good to go. Now, what I do enjoy thoroughly, peas and corn. I just taste so good in this, in any rice dish or anything. And these were just frozen, so I just defrosted them in the microwave. Greens that I prepared earlier, throw them on the side there. This is a big must. Dried shallots. Last video I called them dried anus. Okay. Our cupid's seen better days, that's for sure. Let's just get a bit going on the side there. You can mix that in later. See, I like, I like salmon. Do you like salmon a little bit rare? I never like it. Really? It's rare, it's, um, see the rare, but uncooked. Oh, raw, okay. Raw. Well, this is good quality. You can have it a little bit rare, and it flakes a little bit like that. So that to me is perfect, but if you guys are too scared, then by all means, cook a little bit longer. So this is probably the easiest meal to do. 
scoop it on. And if you guys want, you can have bread with this, but I got none. You get that one, eh? So there are two main meals. Now, when I was thinking of a uh, high protein, high calorie snack, I've made this before as like more of a dessert thing, and it was ridiculous, it was so good. So this is this is what I've come up with. It's, it's kind of like a cheesecake wrap, in a way. Now, I'll make a whole big thing of it, and then we'll just use as much as we like. So, mash a banana. This is about to get real weird. We want about a tablespoon of PB. All the calories right there. And a tablespoon of cream cheese. Again, all the calories taste ridiculous. So we'll give that a bit of a mix. Then we need a bit of sweetness. So we're gonna use some vanilla protein. Let's go, let's go a scoop. Because this could be two, two little meals here. This literally, by itself, tastes like a cheesecake, like peanut butter banana cheesecake. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you just spray it everywhere. No, that's good. How good is that? Yeah. Guys, this is insane. It literally, if you want, if you want to be a straight savage, just eat it like this. And just, <laughs> as a dessert, it just tastes like cheesecake. But because I figured we've got to do something that's like an easy, on the go kind of meal, I thought, let's just throw it in a wrap. Okay, that's probably a lot. And 100% guys, if you have this cold, perfect. It's like an easy on the go snack in between meals. And each one of these, I mean a wrap is 200 and something calories, the peanut butter and cream cheese and the protein. You're looking at like a well above 400 calorie snack. That's it, let's make, let's make another one. Cause we got it. So you could easily have two of these in a day. And that way you're getting a full protein hit as well. Is a bit of a slice. Bang! Stupid amount of calories, it tastes amazing. So, these guys are our main meals and snack for bulking. We have salmon and egg rice. Tastes phenomenal. Big, that's probably my favorite meal. We have butter chicken and rice. This was just an old school staple I always had in my bulking diets when I was in high school. It just tastes, it tastes amazing and it's so easy to do as well. And then we have a little snack here. Some, I'm gonna call them cheesecake wraps because they're high protein, it's super high calories, and you guys can punish this. Even if you split this up like throughout the day and had one in like in between meals, it, I mean, it's just an easy way of sneaking in 600 plus calories. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, give it a like and comment something great. It, it, if that's something great, or it's an, actually a great comment, um, uh, I'm indifferent. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and you guys definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay